the attacking side. We'll see how much use that gets as it's a minor five point stance. A little heavier lead out towards the A site for now. And spike in hand for poised. We'll see if uh, this is that final destination. What we saw a lot on Fracture was if Rise invest a little, they start to invest a lot. So I'm hoping we get a bit more of a, a unpredictability for this Rise attack. Mm. Yeah, that's what we're hoping to take a peek at here is early in this round, it's Rise playing bit more of a default. I think they're waiting to see if there'll be aggression to get that orb and showers and it will be a double swing off of that, but nothing's really coming. Passive setup early for LG and with 45 seconds crawling its way off of that clock, Boombot will be set to keep players on the Standing site. Ahead. And now this extremity will look to be controlled. Dart out for the showers. This one looks to just be an A split. Snake bites traded out, so nobody will be pushing inside U-Haul for now as LG two posted up. Recon bolt over the top. Gonna be taken down. Grab trying to find something. There's the paint shells grab well combo that we talked about. As Rise start to storm onto the site. Pig's already taken a little bit of damage, but nobody falling just yet. It's a spike planted for free. It's a couple of shock darts. Dazzle not able to secure the kill, but now LG, they have to fight forward. The Poison Cloud from Moose maybe finds the Viper on the inside here momentarily, but Neptune still playing on the outside. And when I mean, they're stacked up at sight, it's the Death Ball for the most part. And the Cross, well, it's spotted out. Shank's gonna take down Dazzle as the Classic start to ring. And inside U-Haul, it's not too scary to play because nothing can flush you out except for bodies. There's no paint shells. There's no more Shock Darts. It might not matter as LG storm all the way on. They try to hop last onto the spike standing. and moose. Now the last one standing. Derek very healthy. He's just going invest to in, invest into one Marshall. And Derek is a light armor Vandal Sova. Not what we see too often, but uh, like we were talking about, Rise told us they are feeling the confidence like never before. Okay. Back to their old selves. And, uh... Bind, it's a, a bit more predictable of a map, right? It's not Fracture. It's not unknown for the most part. So they can just go back playing as they've done. It's a nice little stack, though, here out towards the B site for LG. Sure, the pistols might not get a whole lot done. And Dazzle, maybe a little too far to get some value out of that shorty just yet. His Moose already taken an early bit of damage. The Whirly Bird from Derek. They're trying to clear out Hookah. So still a lot of respect given over toward the LG defense. His rise slowly but surely to find their way onto this B side. And Neptune, he's the one to start things off, I think. Just looking for a little bit of spam down. Catches a player off guard with the dart. And now, rise rotates. See you later. This site is mm. ours. Beat off. He had pushed forward and does trip out on the trademark, but only getting one. 30 seconds left. Something at very least. A flank's coming through. Mata, he actually recovered the van though, but surely he doesn't check the close right corner. Poise is holding for it. He spots the barrel, swings, and that's been contained. As long as you kill Kid, this round is fine. And that's been achieved. Vandal recovered, just dazzle with a shorty. The risk factor eliminated. Poor Dazzle. He's got a couple of shock darts, so. I just want to head with this one. With these weapons, I wouldn't hate, since there's those three rifles, just keep things slowed down. Don't mm -hmm. get too overzealous here. See if LG is going to poke you anywhere. Because their fracture play, it was very much a lot about the aggression. Of course, this is a very different map, and LG historically has not always been the most aggressive team, even if they're willing to do it from time to time. As Otto will just be poking out towards long, but the utility set, I actually really like that, because uh, that is their star. I'm wondering if they're afraid of an AWP or afraid of someone trying to play that long angle, but all that aside, Mata has actually taken care of one. Gets away with it, too, and now plays close to the smoke. That's a risk, and he's been spotted. Oh, but he's still good for another Mata. Two on the site, but they're traded back almost immediately. The rotate's now coming over from the A side as that spike gets planted. Tig. The only one here for LG hasn't yet peeked out of Hookah, so he's still holding that position. As Moose and B Dog gonna make their way through this defender sided spawn. Tig wary of somebody on the flank. It's light shields on the Astro. Ooh, nice headshot through the tube. And here the numbers are even. They have to run into this one blind. Nebula Smoke is there. Snake bite. Not quite gonna land as a dash on in, and it's right into the welcome arms of Poise. 
We'll find B-Dog buried six feet under his TIG, leaps out of hookah, moves forced to run for the hills in hopes. And you're never at the advantage when it's the task to work back in towards B. Now, just the Sheriff Eco round one frenzy for Moose. And the angle for B-Dog not checked. He gets at least one for free here, but no time on the dash. Shanks trades. A good trade, but good damage at the start of the round. Derek there for Tuba Mato with the Sheriff. That is a player you can never count out. And you see Shanks wants to get out of dodge. He wants to push deeper here. But Superman's still in a tough spot. Wants to try and match the rotates with his chamber. He will hop on into the teleport. And Moose may be here to meet him. As the Seekers change directions, the trademark going to be tripped as well. So they know the position of one. Is that teleport... Gets taken. Maybe the thought of a double take for a second, but Shanks is here now to try and back up the plants. A weapon retrieved for Mata as well, and very healthy. Still 50 shield, 100 HP on the sky. A couple of shots for the poison cloud. Doesn't find anything just yet. Flash out. Not going to get info either. Is Mata. First the contact. Still going to um, the Tour de Force up in that previous map. So I'm excited to hmm. see him with a proper yeah, yeah. operator invested on into this one. Oh, position. Some showers contention, something that LG has poked with before, but not committed this hard to. And that dart clears him quite a bit of space, so it looks like Orb will be recovered. Dazzle just one step away from his Huntress Fury. And the op is still on that line, too. He is so deep. This is a ton of information for Luminosity. Yeah, basically funneling Rise to hit this B site or to answer to B Dog if they should hit that teleporter. Showstopper. Clears out. Oh my god, clears out Octagon, but Mata pushes in at just the right time. You're afraid of that showstopper. You don't want to contest it, but there's no fear for Luminosity. They charge in, deny any of that from happening. As now the Viper's Pit earned and put up over towards the short side. And this angle, this could never be done before with the old short setup. Now it will. And Tig, you notice, he looks down, but it's on an angle where not only can he have that extended vision by looking downwards, but he also still has pretty solid crosshair placement to find anyone walking in. If you're Rise, you really don't want to contest that, unless maybe you commit a Sova drone, but even that is a huge risk. Yeah, the amount of times we see drones through pits and not find anything, or most importantly, not find the Viper. Deploying drone. Looks like it happens quite often, but speaking of that drone, Eric gonna toss that one out just to clear out showers. Are it's they the just gonna only try and circumvent this. They are. They're gonna put up yeah. the wall and they're just gonna plant elsewhere. They're gonna completely ignore the Viper's pit. pit. And notice there's someone lurking on the back lines, holding for this. And Neptune is actually taking it down. This play has worked to perfection as Derek Hunter's Fury helps to create space too. Derek Hunter Shuri did so much. Found the kill onto Moose. Also found a tag onto Dazzle. And like you said, completely circumvented. Sure, if you gave it a few more seconds, you could have hit the A site. Sure. like you wanted to previously but they make it work no less and well the three players of lg that remain are on the opposite side of the map so far away from the fight they want to hang on to what they have but yeah. man again explosive in the last round for lg and explosive in this time lg took a timeout it worked pretty well that was a map ago on fracture we'll see what they can muster up here in this one speed dog holds the op down short again that's gonna be super on the jump peaks now the wall goes up, easy cross, but B-Dog's still going to hold the angle. Oh, it's interesting to notice, I, I believe this is the same operator that B-Dog had in the previous round. He has not shown it yet. They don't know about the all, yeah. so there's a chance he can get away with something funky. But no one's really testing him just yet, maybe now? No. Spike is over towards east side of the map still just holding on to this default luminosity with that off in the forward position they really have no reason to get aggro dazzle already used that re drone already used that dart and has another one on the recharge so if they get suspicious over towards showers you just dump jump pick it you dart on in rise have to make a play with their lacking information and they have forced beat dog off the line but the hunter's fury that's the reply and trying to slow things down. It does find a tag onto Derek, and Super will finally find that kill. We saw oh. the X-ray for so long, and B-Dog will get another rips Neptune off of his perch and stands tall, healthy on the jet once more. The dash should go the also be back online. We'll see if he does go over the top with the shorty. Shanks chipped away. Low HP is the Trailblazer. Looks to clear out U-Haul. Shots don't land on the poise, so he's good to fight back for one. Is Tig the first to fall for the squad? What more to be found? You can see the head. Unfortunately, you can't pop the grape as the shorty inside U-Haul. 
Might be enough to find a kill on the Shanks. He's low H. Is able to do it there, making the shorty look. You know, maybe he needs to go back up to the, the 250 or the 200 credits as it was. <laughs> Once was previously. By the way, nice recon bolt to clear out the players out towards showers. So it gives a good little bit of information. And while the op is holding the line here, so the cloud burst subsides. And B-Dog looks to hold that angle once more. And it's going to be Superman to be met by the op should he push forward. Derek is here. They have the cross. And B-Dog just needs to not get too overzealous on this. You had a good round in the last one. Maybe hang back and look to do the same. But the timing, I mean, it's perfect. Derek's already left. Supa still on the angle. Now get a swing. And the shot goes wide. Uncharacteristic. Supa still healthy. And what can now count as graces as he walks away and looks to reposition. But he's still the only player out towards the A site. Riser still looking to hit B. But Mata's really starting to come online. This is still a very scary B site. So Ryze had initially put a trademark in towards Hookah, but that got spammed down, broken, so it applies even more pressure. Ryze now has to commit, and it's past the Viper utility if they want to go for this. Moose is walked in close, and he's ready on the line. Neptune, the first scout, the first down, but the trade is there. They'll try and waterfall on in, and it's working. Shanks for the defense. Mana makes a play that fails. And now Luminosity, they look like they might just be falling flat on this defense. It's down to the retake. B-Dog has an op, and he's wounded, but Dazzle Shock Dart. Flames flesh over towards the elbow. This is the critical position. Just dazzle clear the angle. Not quite. It's a save. B Dog has to hold on to the op. Round's over. At least in the last yeah. series. So I was hoping to see a little bit less of that. We still have a long ways to go for this defense, right? We're just over halfway through the half. But uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm hoping LG don't just continue to kind of play the same way. And they've already mixed it up, right? Moose on the opposite side. Now looking for a different way to fight for Shower's control, especially because with that wall up and that lurk, it kind of has left Shower's control open for the most part. So B-Dog trying to get value elsewhere. Whirly Bird trying to clear out the site. And well, the site is basically... This is oh. interesting now for the players in Shower's because they're going to get pinched. Notice... The Viper is just holding. Super not contesting how he pushes. This might just be the end of his life. Moose, is he looking the right direction? Timing. Timing is everything. The drop. That could decide this round. Who wins it out? It's a standoff. And Moose able to take it. But still, look where Shanks is established. Up on the right angle. The flick does miss. He gives away the game. Next step, take towards U-Haul. The Seekers will help to do that. B Dog falls, always trying to creep up with the operator. Fortunately, Mata's still alive, still fighting forward. Nice flash, but Shanks is there to bail his teammate out and move. Fortunate turn for LG. As they are just going to be stuck down onto these pistols. B Dog has the Blade Storm. We know what a individual he can be. Change rounds. One weapon. Shanks wants to contest the timing up and over, and the TP is perfect. He doesn't get too far. B Dog almost still able to run him down. Fortunately, Shanks is able to escape, and the rest of the team is just around the corner. Meanwhile, taking a find one onto Neptune, so the attack weakened just a bit, and a weapon retrieved. B-Dog can look to toss this one over to a teammate, should he link back up. Look at Mata, all the way through. Flash out towards Cave, still holding this angle. Mata so scary with just a Sheriff in hand. This time, though, it's an armorless sky. Teleports are taken. Mana just on the outside. Guiding light queued up. Tossed out, but it doesn't find the flash. Shanks still able to secure the frags. Jake does it again. Okay. You count these guys out, and they still find ways to he make it work. He <gasps> dogs here. He spots the barrel, but Moose still unfortunately going to go down to the knives. They just go wide. He had the recovered weapon, but didn't matter. The re-equip just not there. That is a round, or at least a play, that you wish you could have back. And now Tig... That's no reason not to go full send here on this one. A 1v3, it'd be a miracle. Should he clutch this out? Expecting somebody close. It's going to hop up. Spots Derek. Nice dink. Doesn't find the frag just yet. Phantom in hand means it's about 100. Nasty, they'll try it again this time with three to work you with. Want to play Two to four. Sparrow spotted. Mata's down. Buried. But B-Dog gets one back. But Shanks is just going to match it. And okay. <laughs> The Operator's online in this round going back and forth. as a showstopper used out from showers. B-Dog forced to dash away. Maybe walking in to the explosion. Is going to use that updraft just to try and escape. Handful of credits spent in this. B-Dog still holding the Operator. Coming to this next round. But this time, it's shower control from the Viper as well as the Op. Unfortunately, there's nothing to be had on that side of the map. Recon Bolt taken down. Hunter Fury queued up. Neptune... 
going to be buried because of it. So a huge start here in the last round of the half from Dazzle. Out towards long now is Shanks. Just the rifle in hand for this round is... I'll play around the nebula. Well, though elsewhere, it's moves. He's crept up rather deep here. He holds the angle, lots of spaces in individual, but the execution is coming. They don't have to worry about the space. Instead, they'll just send it in, but Dazzle holds, finds the first poise, is low, and now it's with three done in the defense. The shot dart perfection. Tig just grabs it out of thin air, and it knocks him to the floor, but the op holds the line. B-Dog finds the shot, and now it's Supa alone. One versus three position, already showing there's a man below him. That player has one HP, the backstab. Backstab becomes an issue the longer he waits, and B-Dog is always a problem. The swing is there. Not committed. Spike needs to be found. Moose needs to be killed. So many checkboxes to find with so little time. Left. And the only way forward is either pass B-Dog, pass Moose. That flank is coming. The knife in hand. He'll re-equip and actually find it. So Supa giving himself a chance with now only 20 seconds. Swing needs to come quickly. He needs to isolate this duel. And B-Dog is just holding. But he already tossed out towards a short. And that's exactly where LG seemingly want to end up. We'll see if they dispatch. Of something. Oh, here it is. The wombo combo. Let's grab well. Paint shells go out. Nothing to really be found with the wombo combo. But Superman's still able to get one. As Dazzle pushes a bit too far forward. Separated from his team. And the slow actually didn't get triggered. They took down the trademark, which means they're able to kind of get out of dodge. All they had to worry about was the Astra Vortex. So at the end of the day, damage mitigated just a bit, but the attack still down a player and, and they're looking to go right flanking. back to it. Shanks is flanking. They have to commit A, but he's coming so deep. And Neptune, oh, they're all low. The friends could be perfect in the situation. <laughs> he gets nothing and poised down, only trades for one. Now Superman. Alone on the side, but remember the flank. Shade, he's on his way. Ability up. This actually allows him to get way closer than he would have otherwise. Super, does he check the right angle? Yes. Wow. Finds Tig. When is the flank coming? Wow. Maybe it doesn't even require it. As Supa has found three. Stronger half here, but they do still tend to fall short. And if you wanted to try and mount that comeback, that piss around would have been huge. But again, it just gets overlooked. The wombo combo that was available to Rise. Dazzle dying early. Just makes that uh, a seemingly unwinnable round as this time they set their eyes out towards B site. Spike plant in this situation with full pistols is basically a win. So that's what LG are shooting for. There's a lot of utility to be used thus far. Nobody underneath Puka to get tagged up by the grab. Well, inside the nebula smoke though is Shanks and he picks up two working towards that tour de force. Make it three on the round and the anti-eco going swimmingly as Moose will find himself the last. Shanks, that can do damage when you have a trademark to get away. And Viper Utility to play inside of, or on the other side of. It looks like they want to fight for that orb. Recon Bolt doesn't force them away from doing so, so Viper's Pit is available for Rise, should they choose to use it in Shanks. Going to take his position atop the box here inside U-Haul with the aforementioned Judge. Nice flash from the top, but it's only going to be half flash as he looks away. He takes damage, but it's not enough. He trades back plenty on Tamada in the attack. Already weakened as that Viper's Pit was used to lock down that Octagon area. And now it's a tough place here for LG as they're split across the map. The spike still needs to be retrieved, but they have some time. Unfortunately, they're losing space with Neptune's position. They're completely corralled out here towards shore. It's going to be the two uh, out towards B site that need to try and help the rest get cleared out. The spike's creeping on over. And Neptune might just crack this thing wide open. Holds Dazzle. Oh, Dazzle doesn't check it. That's a spike, too. Falling on the ground. Neptune will make his escape. He even looks to buy more time, but Derek Specter won't find the same value. So, cage that was being created around Luminosity, at least one bar will be broken, but it's being quickly repaired. That's out towards the showers where space is reclaimed by the rays of Neptune. LG now established for their posts. They have some stars to work with, but they've already used one and just committed to re-clearing out this flank. Maybe going all the way, wrapping for showers? No. It's just to get in position for the lineups. And Shanks, if he can take down the Viper, Ooh. it's massive, but he cannot. Now these mollies can end so potent. There's already an orb up on this spike. There's already one deployed, but it's half. 
that could be huge. Now out comes the orb. More damage to chip away. Super will try and stick, but he does not have the time as Moose is now just fragging, looking to spam away. It's Astro Utility, and it's Moose nearly grabbing the ace. Rifle in hand, but he does still have Headhunter. We'll see if he continues to play the close corners inside Hook. I know he's going to teleport back on over towards the ace side. So Util on both sides to try and help his team out here in the defense. Or as LG scoop up the spike nice and early. They lean out towards B site for now, but what can they find out towards A? Both controllers looking to lurk up and get some information. No trademark here, but as soon as they step a couple of steps forward, no, Moose does it again. Five kills in the last two rounds. Opening up this one. Tig still holding the line as Poise sends a few shots, but the pre-fire doesn't land the defense. Weakened by one. Now this looks to just be an execute out towards B. TP's being held, so if Ryze tries to go through in that direction, it will be a death sentence. But the Viper utility is buying at least a good bit of time. Now out for the execution. Flash fails. The dart was in, and the dash is through. But wow. Supa down. takes down two. B-Dog has to be the one to trade this back. He's already managed to find one, and he takes care of Derek as well. But despite the setup to hold for the flank, they had to disengage off of the breakage on site. So, flank successfully established. And a charge out from the defender side. It's one. We'll have to see how it works out, though. This is truly do or die. If this round slips away, game's probably over. We start to look towards split, and B-Dog is fast. Quick in towards the showers, extremity control. Getting closer to the alt for Dazzle. Unfortunately, it's really all for naught. The early util usage, pushing to showers. For sure, they have the positioning. They are backing away from it for now. Three players on the defense here standing tall on the A site, whereas the numbers are a little bit less, but the information is plentiful. Shank's going to spot out one. Tig will take him down. He tries to teleport away, but again, not quick enough on the rendezvous. But as Tig overextends onto the site, low HP, and this time the knives will actually land. We finally get the B-Dog knife kill onto Poised, and the Viper's Pit comes down, so good damage. Basically, across the board means they want to invest the ults into it. Asupa gets one back the pit off the table. The knives. Now, really, all you can lean on here. Mod on a close angle. Gets sprayed through the wall. Dazzle slowly making his way on up. Nice kill there. Looking for more of the dash to safety. It's still a 2v2, but it's rifles in the hands of Ryze. What can the sheriff get done as Dazzle picks up one? Now needs to find the next in the 1v1. It's Derek. It's Dazzle. It's the sheriff's. The shock dart, the damage, what can it get done? It's Derek to win it out. It was everything LG had. Sort of force up for Shanks. Shorty in his back pocket too, as it's gonna be the extremity over towards showers contested. I've got your trail. Gravwell doesn't even slow him down. Flash not gonna get info either. The seekers taking care of I mean, all the utility. Sure, they two were to force, couple of shots used, so won't have the most online, and eventually Shanks will fall as he runs it down inside showers. Poised is there for the trade. Cosmic Divide now looking to cut the site in half. LG plant on the opposite side. Nice shock darts. Gonna secure that kill onto Tig. A Viper's Pit on the opposite side now here for the defense. And Moose quick to die once more. A 2v4 as Mata holds the bench position, but poised. No way, he's about to find the backstab. Nice guiding light as he hops on over. Mata, undetected for now. We'll look to even the odds, but the pit is still up, but Mata's still fragging. Superman and Derek, though, hand in hand, they spot their enemies in their respective corners, and Rise will tie us up after a 